Northwest Profiles, presented by CarStar. Cars are more than just metal. They're our friend and our best friend's best friend. When something happens to them, you can depend on CarStar for collision, glass, and auto care. CarStar, where accidents unhappen. I did custom airbrushing on motorcycles, buses, cars, trucks and sometimes even helicopters. Do all kinds of other stuff as well, sometimes guitars and computers and really just depends what the customer wants. So I'll paint anything on, on anything really. I like to try to make it as 3D as possible and, and put a lot of depth into it and I like to layer it a lot so uh, you do get that 3D type of look. Yeah. The more time you spend on it, the better it's going to look. Spokane's Perry Mallet is an airbrush artist who really is willing to paint on any surface. He's also a tattoo artist, so even the human body provides a canvas for his creativity. My grandmother actually got me started when I was quite young. She was a woodcarver in Australia and she started me in with sketching and competitions and we got some airbrushes at the school I was at and I picked one up in art class and I really liked it and I thought this is what I want to do for a living. I started off doing the occasional bedroom walls and stuff like that, uh, for kids' bedrooms, dolphins and whales and that kind of thing. And I did get into some work in doing some stuff in pubs and clubs. I'm from Sunshine Coast, Queensland in Australia. Lived there all my life pretty much, uh, up until about five, six years ago. Um, I moved over here um, and decided I wanted to try it over here, do a bit of travel and, and uh, keep going with the airbrushing. The way the airbrush works is you press down for your air and you pull back for your paint. So pull, press down for your air and then you pull the trigger back and you can get go from a fine line to, uh, to a thick line <clears throat> like this. So it really just depends on your hand control and what, what you want to, what you want to achieve can layer different colours and go from your light to dark colours. Tattooing is the opposite. Generally you can go from dark to light. The airbrush tool is similar to the tattoo machine. Um, but again, they're different, two different mediums. Uh, working with skin is, is a lot different to uh, obviously a motorcycle tank that doesn't move or squirm or, or feel any pain. So um, that's definitely one aspect that you gotta get around. Paint is one of the things that lets a customer make their ride unique. There's a lot of black bikes out there and a lot of customers just wanna have something that represents them and their life. Vietnam veterans or veterans of whatever war. One recently I did putting a, a rose and a picture in front of the Vietnam War. Uh, so I actually painted the picture of him doing that and his close friend who was killed, who, who was paying tribute to. So a lot of people do do that kind of thing. I enjoy that too. The military themes are, are fun to do. I like to try all sorts of different themes. I don't really have any in particular that is my favorite. I just enjoy all kinds of different artwork. Perry deals with various surfaces, which are anything but flat. It's just something with practice that you become accustomed to. Um, I'm pretty used to it now. And I enjoy working on motorcycles. They're small and you can kind of get around them easier than a car or something bigger like a bus or something.
word of mouth is, is what I find is the best way to advertise. Really, there's, there's no better way than, than seeing the actual motorcycle, seeing the artwork on it, seeing the way it curves around the tank and stuff. It took a long time to uh, make a living out of it, but yeah, it, it's been good. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.